Hey guys, we are going to be doing something today we haven't done in a long time. So where are we going to today, Deanna? We're going to Philpott Lake. I have no idea how to pronounce it. So we're going to a lake just east of Ferry Stone State Park and we are going to kayak. We have not kayaked in, it's been a while, at least three years. Yeah. All right guys, five bucks. That's all it costs to get down here for a kayak fee. It's not free, but I mean, as beautiful as it is around here, I think it's worth the five bucks. I don't know if it's due to COVID restrictions or not, but there still seems to be plenty of parking around here. But we're, we're gonna get out here and get sunburned. I mean, get the kayaking. Wow, it's been a really long time. Feels good. <laughs> we are gonna be battling some wake from these bigger boats coming through here, but not quite compared to the Hudson River where we had quite a bit of wake, so I think we'll be fine. We're gonna paddle around this lake a little bit. I think that is Deer Island over there. We might go do a loop around it first. I think that's one of the main attractions in this area. It's been a while since I've used my GoPro in the kayak, so I did tie it off. Hopefully it doesn't fall in. I have a 2013 non-motorized DNR lake permit on the front of my kayak from Indiana. Now watch out for these boats. Hopefully they pay attention. I am wearing red. My kayak's red. I believe this is Deer Island right ahead of us here. Looks like the water level used to be up a little bit higher. Bit of a steep coastline there, but we might be able to find a place we can dock. We'll go around this and see. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. You're gonna, you're gonna ram me, aren't you? Do have to watch out for the speed boats around here, causing quite a bit of wake, but like I said, we're used to it from the Hudson River, just from wind or when cargo ships and things go through, so. Not too big of a deal out here. Over that direction, right underneath that house, it looks like there is some sort of a landslide over there. I'll try to turn my boat while holding the camera here. Very, very slight breeze going across this lake. Can barely even tell any choppiness whatsoever, and we're pretty much just staying in one place when we stop. So it's not really that hard to paddle today. There's like nine different places to dock, and we just went to Goose Point as our starting point. There's different waterfalls you can kayak to around here, and there's just all sorts of different little viewpoints. We're kind of wondering why it was fenced off there, but it looks like they're growing some sort of water-based plant along the shoreline there. That might be a place to tie off your boat. I don't know. Very new to the area. It's like there's a picnic area over here, so we're gonna go stop and sit in the shade for a little bit. Looks like they even have a porta potty. Ramming speed! Oh, I kind of went in at an angle. Just like a lot of Virginia, it does seem to have the iron rich soil around here getting washed up so it's kind of an orange darker orange hints of the water around the edges looks like they might actually have a hiking trail through here as well we'll have to check that out as long as no one steals our boats right take your boats out here whether that be kayak or motorboats but they do seem to have limited day passes each day we literally got the last kayak pass for the day so we were lucky and this is actually turkey island not deer island i'm assuming they named it according to the size of the animal maybe since turkeys are smaller than deer unless there's a very on this island. or maybe wouldn't doubt it, there's a lot of turkey, deer. I wonder if there's a bear island because there's definitely black bear in this area yeah. as well. Wanna go hike a little bit? Sure. Bunch of little baby pines through here. 
I'm not sure if this is really a trail or not. Since we are wearing sandals and stuff, we should probably watch out for snakes. Not a whole lot of protection against them. Looking over there, it doesn't actually look like a trail. So we're probably just gonna hop back in our kayaks and maybe go explore Deer Island over there. The one that we wanted to go to. All right, so we're leaving Turkey Island over here and we're heading towards Deer Island. I don't know if we'll go all the way around. It's actually fairly large. We may just go along the coast here and wrap our way around. Wap, wap all the way around. If you look off that way, you can actually see some mountains in the distance. Or at least the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Almost to Deer Island now. A lot of boats out there. Is that where we took off? This is Deer Island Recreation Area over here, so I don't know if they have trails or what they actually have in here to make it a recreation area. I don't think there's camping on Turkey Island over there, but there might be on Deer Island. I'll try to get that confirmed before I post this video. So it looks like they do have some camping out there. I see a tent and some kayaks, so looks like you can go kayak camping on some of these islands. Might have to do that at some point. Could be fun. What were you saying, Deanna? No, I was just going to say, do you want to explore a little bit of this before we head back? Sounds good. Let's head off that way. Right. Yeah, it looks like there's designated camping all around here. I'll have to look up on how you sign up for that. Obviously no water electric, just dry camping. <laughs> no RVs, just tent camping. Unless you have an amphibious RV. So we have Deer Island over here, then over there that beach area I think is Cove Spring Recreation Area. Tons of places to go enjoy this lake around here. Looks like there might be more camping on this side as well. At least a docking area to go enjoy the island. We're probably going to turn around and start heading back. Short little video today, I think. But a very fun day out in the water. There's some pretty steep cliff sides off of around this lake itself. Heading back towards the RVs over there. Quite a bit of weight through here. <laughs> well guys, we're about back to the dock here. We'll get her loaded up. I'll, I'll show you our new little setup here for our kayaks after we get it loaded up. So this is kind of our new little setup for our kayaks. We got this so we could haul like um, plywood, or not plywood, but longer boards and stuff down the road. Actually how we got a gate on our property as well so we could haul it through the back of our truck. Just a bed extender, throw the kayaks on there, tie it up, add to these little loop holes up here, and we're good to go. Much easier throw on than rooftop kayak rig we had previously. If you enjoyed this video, Hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos like it. You can also check us out at dnsadventures.com. And as always, adventure on. Get out there and kayak. It was a blast.